guys, what's up? It's Scott with iPhone Hacks, and today I'm doing a theme review of Aegis. So right off the bat, when you reach bring your device, you'll notice that the lock screen brings a brushed metal effect to the slider with a touch of blue, as well as the grabber camera icon. In addition, Aegis comes with two lock screen options. This is one of them. In addition, you can also choose between this other white analog lock screen, which gives you a minimal analog clock, which is really, really well done. You will most likely want to install lock screen clock hide so you don't have an overlap of clocks. So once you open up your lock screen, you'll notice the icon scanner. It's a subtle brushed metal frame that scans every icon. Now many of the stock icons have a radial stripe effect with a heavy transparency that gives you this cool effect of icons such as message, calendar, videos, notes, phones, app store, and safari, just name a few. I think it's a nice touch that ties the theme together by having the same effect applied to many of the stock icons. Now you can't help but notice these red bubbly notifications up here that adds a nice contrast from the other accents such as your battery or Wi-Fi signal that are blue. Mine is red since the battery is dead, but hey. When launching the settings app, you'll notice there is a loader, which is a nice touch, although it doesn't really seem to fit the theme at all, but when it opens you'll notice some slight changes to the UI. For example, where it says settings, you get a nice black texture that I really like. In addition, the on and off toggles have that same texture with blue accents, which is very sharp. All of the arrows are small double arrows to the next page. You'll also notice a very nice touch that when you click on anything, it lights up with a beautiful green gradient overlay that is really nice. Wasn't quite sure where this comes from, but it is a really nice effect. Now, Aegis White doesn't scan on the scans. The text messaging app has this awesome, consistent texture that I like. In addition, this beautiful blue bubbles for your text and a nice complimentary white bubble for any incoming text. There's also this cool grabber icon for this nice green color, and it does and it does tie the green color together, and it's a really refreshing color to see. If you type, you'll notice that even without color keyboard installed, there is still a themed indicator when you tap on a specific letter, which is an awesome little touch. Moving on, the calendar is consistent with the theme, having blue accents on selected dates, while Notes gives you a white background against the black texture. The Dialer app looks nice and clean with minimal numbers and buttons, and if you look closely, you'll notice the background is actually vertical lines at a 45 degree angle, bringing you a nice complimentary effect. Safari's display has the same texture throughout with a nice blue accent for search and its overview. And apps such as the clock, calculator, compass, and other utilities don't get much of a change, just replacing some of the background as shown with the textured background of the theme, pulling the apps together quite nicely. Now when you open up a folder, you can really see the noise effect that gives this theme its texture, and like most good themes, it really ties everything together quite nicely. Now let's take a look at the iPod app. This is probably the only part of the theme that I disagree with. You get this funky rounded edges down here and this rounded indicator lets you know where you are and it just kind of doesn't make sense. Also the text extends beyond the menu but it's really not a big deal when on the music screen it is much better. You get a brush and metal slider with nice blue accents which is nice. If you don't like the iPod player you can also opt not to have that check in winter quarter. Aegis comes with the ability to have your analog clock on your background, which is a cool option if you want to display that, although I personally don't like having that option. It works best if you have grid lock and are able to place icons out of the way. It also comes with the SB setting thing that I absolutely love. These nice brushed icons are a beautiful touch to the SB settings. And lastly, you have a themed notification setting. The theme is a bright blue, and depending on your preference, it's a nice touch to your iDevice that brings every, everything together quite nicely. And it's also still really easy to read and use, which is a huge plus. So overall, I really enjoy the theme, and I think it is absolutely worth buying. Not only do you get Aegis Light, but you get Aegis HD, which instead of the skin icons being lighter in color, you get a nice pewter effect, and you can mix and match the different settings. You can purchase Aegis HD or Aegis White here. I'm Scott with iPhone Hacks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.